welcome. My name is Trisha Miller. Today we are going to do a clean, declutter, and organize in each of my kids' rooms. I have three kids. I have Charlie, who's 10, Liam, who's 8, and my daughter, Rory, who's 5. I also want to do just a little bit of Halloween decor in their room so I can surprise them today after school. We need to bake. I have not baked a Halloween treat in a little bit, so I'm going to experiment a little bit have these silicone molds that kind of look like the half of a pumpkin so I want to put some cake mix in we're gonna to try to make our own version of a little mini pumpkin cake so thank you for being here let's get started we are starting in my daughter Rory's room I tend to choose the task that is always going to be the hardest and take the longest and just get it done first that's always my system so her room is definitely gonna take the longest she just has more stuff kind of lying around but it's really because she doesn't have a lot of good storage in her room. So I really am trying to brainstorm and think of a new strategy for her room just so she can feel like she has, she can stay organized. I know with my kids, I notice that when they have a good organization system in their room, they take pride in that and then they'll put the things away where the things belong. But when there's nothing set up, it's there's really nowhere to put it except on the floor. So we're gonna get Rory's room done. I do have big goals and I'm gonna talk to you about them in this video, just some ideas on how I wanna kind of rearrange her room. So I definitely see a Rory's room makeover video in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And I just, I wanna do it before the holidays before she accumulates more stuff. So I will bring you along and we'll figure this out together. room but I don't think it's working I want to rearrange her room I'm not gonna do it today but I really have the itch to do it soon so stay tuned for that but what I'm thinking so she, her bed I think I want to put it in the back corner because she has a pretty pretty big room but we're not utilizing the space because her bed is right in the middle of the room so there's no space for anything and she's been spending more and more time building Legos in here playing with friends in here so I just want to free up the middle of her room so I think the rug, which I want to replace the rug, don't ever buy a white rug for your kid's room. Fight the urge. I know it looks pretty. If I did a close up, and I have shampooed this rug before, but if I did a close up, you would see it is not white. It's supposed to be white, but it has pink marker on it, eyeshadow spilled on it. Just don't do it. Let me be your word of caution here. Anyway, so I want to replace her rug to have a more like reasonable, realistic rug for a child's room. So eventually I want to do that, but regardless, I would have to flip it that way. And then I think her bed, I want to put in that back corner. And then right here in her, like under her window, 
you've probably seen if you've been following me, we have shelves out in our loft area. They're bookshelves, but then it's a bench. I think I wanna get that one more to put under her window so that I can do bins for all of her doll stuff. And then she could set her Legos up on top of the bench because right now they're just sitting on a little shelf and it's maxed out. And she is asking Santa for a lot of different Lego sets this year. So if he comes through, I don't know. We might not have space for them. So I'm just thinking through it. What are your thoughts? Giving up your dreams to your silly demons We're diamonds in the dust, so I can't you see it? Keep getting under your thick skin, trying on and on Building and nursing your weaknesses Swimming around in your bloodstream, can't make it stop Oh, I just need The next thing I want to do is get down all of these bins in Roy's closet. This is where I put all of her clothes last spring that were lawn sleeve, winter coats, all that stuff. We are definitely not ready by any means for winter coats right now. We're more kind of a light jacket in the morning weather, but I do know she had some pants that I wasn't quite ready to donate in the spring. I wanted to see if she hit a growth spur this summer and she did. So all of those pants that I had saved, I can now donate them. I'm keeping her, her holiday pajamas because they're just thicker, like her Christmas pajamas and stuff. They're just like more fleecy, so I'm keeping those in the bins for now. She doesn't need those yet. She'll get too hot at night. And then all of those heavier jackets I'm going to keep in there. But she, she did have some long sleeve dresses in there that I can take out and then just more leggings and stuff like that. crazy weather transition time where it'll be 60 degrees in the morning so crispy and a little chilly but then by the afternoon it's upper 70s lower 80s so I'm not ready to get rid of short sleeve or skirts or short sleeve dresses or anything like that all I'm doing right now is just taking out tank tops and any dresses with spaghetti straps or more of just a summer look to them and then when we have more consistent cooler temperatures then I'll start to put away all the short sleeve stuff Now is the fun part, we're gonna decorate Rory's room for Halloween. I would like to thank Olni for collaborating with me for this part of today's video. They sent me lights for all three of my kids' rooms and been so impressed by this company. They have a one-year warranty on all of their products. I can plug in the lights so I don't have to worry about batteries running out. They have a fast delivery. They're ranked in the top three lighting brands last year on Amazon. Their usage life is three times longer than all their competitors. They also inspect their lights three times before they come to you, which is huge. How many times have you bought Christmas lights or lights and you plug it in and one of the bulbs isn't working and then the whole strand is out? So frustrating. And these lights were such high quality that I'm just gonna leave them up in the kids' rooms. They will transition from fall to Halloween all the way into Christmas and the new year. And I don't know if my kids will ever let me take them down. So I will keep, include a link for you guys in the video description box below. They have a ton of different options for lights. So thank you again to Olni for collaborating with me on this video. That maybe he ain't worth it Too bad I hate advice Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide Oh I know He got me good in his pocket I know that I'm just a treat
We're now in Liam's room. That's my eight-year-old. His is gonna be the fastest. He is really good about just keeping his room pretty neat. He has one little corner that you'll see in the back left corner with his bookshelf that just gets a little bit cluttered. So I'm gonna declutter that area, kind of organize things for him, get his bed made. And then in his closet, it's really just doing a couple of things like going through and making sure all the t-shirts fit and taking his bathing suits and putting those up for the winter. And that's it. And then we'll get decorating. Just found a missing library book. These are Liam's library books of the week. Agent Moose, Moose on a Mission. So cute. And he did not put a bookmark in. I'm gonna use a mom buck because there is a strong possibility this book would get closed while I am cleaning. So now we're safe. Investigators is the other one. Does anybody else get a little bit? Let me, let me start this by saying I love libraries. I am all about reading. I'm so excited that my kids have access to the library and they can check out books every week. Do you get a little bit of like library book anxiety when they come home? Like, oh my gosh, we can't lose this thing. room and the one thing that I would love to declutter in his room are all of his stuffed animals but he is also the kid that would know the second one of them was missing so instead I'm working on his little cluttered corner in his closet to clear more space and I'm gonna take some of them off of his bed and just put them in the closet and just so he can kind of rotate them each night 
because it's just a whole lot going on in his bed when he puts them all out there. So I got all of his books out too. He likes to keep his Harry Potter books only in his closet and then I'm gonna put the rest on his bookshelf with him, for him with all of his Legos, get those a little bit organized and decluttered for him and then we'll get to decorating. Hey, I've been dreaming now about you. Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate anytime you're beside me Yeah, it's what you do to me I can barely breathe Hey, I've been thinking about you And all the words that I'm gonna say Next time that I see a pretty face Cause I can concentrate Anytime you're beside me Yeah, it's what you do to me I can barely breathe It's what you do in Charlie's room with the lights because I wasn't tall enough to reach the ceiling so I recruited Steven to come help me and made the process go a lot faster so it was nice so he's hanging those up for me I decided to do that middle area behind Charlie's bed and so I was able to double up the strand of lights then so it's like this one condensed area with lots of lights which is just it looks so cool my kids were so excited when they got home to see their lights I should have filmed it for you guys so I apologize I didn't even think about it I was just so excited to show them that I, it just never even crossed my mind to actually film their reaction. So maybe around the Chris, Christmas time for the holidays when I decorate the rooms for that, I'll film that part so you guys can see the reaction. But trust me when I say they were thrilled. They never want these lights to go be taken down. So they are pretty much going to be a permanent decor piece in our home now. with how the rooms came out the kids are going to love them so now before they get home from the bus I want to do one more little surprise treat for them it's Friday when I'm filming this so who doesn't love a Friday night treat so I'm going to I'm just using regular white cake mix and I think I'm gonna add some orange coloring to it to make it more of a Halloween fall color this is what I was thinking for my pumpkins if you look Try to show you. It kind of has a pumpkin shape. So I was gonna take one, put icing in the middle, and then put another on top of it to make it look like a pumpkin. That's experiment number one. And then I have some sprinkles that we can kind of do around the outer edge of it. And then if that doesn't work out, I just have my normal, we could do like a whoopie pie, Halloween whoopie pie situation. So we've got some choices here. One thing I know for sure is they're going to be delicious. I don't know what they're gonna look like, but we're gonna have fun. Let's get started.
The cakes turned out delicious. You've got to try it. It was so easy. Comment below. Let me know if you guys try this. And thank you so much for keeping me company today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Give this video a thumbs up so you don't miss my next video. My plan for Saturday, we're going to be doing a clean declutter and organize in the kitchen. We're going to clean the fridge. We're going to restock the pantry. Just do a little weekend refresh. I'll see you guys next time.